way to block. Lean into that arm. Let's go. Extend that arm. Keep working. Nice transition. Good submission. Sick arm bar. That's it. Way to work for the submission. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. As a fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. Every fighter who competes in the octagon will tell you that he will take a win by any means possible. But as one of the UFC's top strikers, this welterweight star is taking the judges out of the equation, as he has used fists and feet to finish each of his opponents during his winning streak by way of spectacular knockout. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skill. All right, so here's the talented young New Jersey native, Mickey Gall, still undefeated in mixed martial arts. He's a brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and that is really the realm of MMA that he has leaned on thus far. All four of his pro wins have come by rear naked choke. That is the go-to submission for a lot of high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Belgrade, Serbia, Ben Chair. 
and now the finish of his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Mickey Dunn! All right, ready to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. All right, so here is Mickey Gall ready to go in round one. His first three pro wins all came in round one back in 2015, 2016. So this is not a fighter that wastes a whole lot of time in there, something his opponent has got to be aware of as he tries to bounce Mickey Gall from the ranks oh! of the unbeaten Big shot! He's got him hurt here. That's a big hook. Haymaker! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, oh head kick. <laughs> Caught that one on the forearm. Oh, another head kick lands, Joe. That's even hard to watch. And defensively, he's got to start blocking these, getting the guard up, or he could be looking up here at the lights in the not too distant future. Reversed. Good punch. Full guard now. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Ball's cut get is getting get worse there. here. Man, is that oh, unbelievable. And that's going to do it. And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he hurt him. And he's taking his time. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds at the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Beckham! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.
That's how you block. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It came as a shock to the MMA community when this fighter left his longtime gym recently. But that surprise was nothing compared to the reaction felt around the globe when he agreed to fight his longtime training partner in a compelling matchup that highlights this weekend's UFC card at Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Gotta think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight... So much MMA history has been made inside this venue from Pride to the UFC, and we are underway from the world-famous Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. All right, here he is, ready to go for round one of a possible three, and his opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights, all of them by flush knockout. Each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Oh! He's got her here. Posh 
pressure's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he That's it. it. He's out. That's he it. is out. Wow. What a knockout. Man. Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout. Near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponent saw that thing coming. And really, before his opponent had a chance to get in the fight at all and land anything in terms of a significant strike, he was knocked out. So major, major transpiration here tonight. Watch this again here. And he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Gentlemen, Bruce Buffer with the official Andy decision. Lepping has called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bertin. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.
Genesis! Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC Octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal. With more than 40 pro fights to his credit now, north of 40 years old, here is Mike Quicksand Pyle. How about this? Made his pro debut against Rampage Jackson in Memphis, Tennessee in 19 Our tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands by feet up. Here we go, fight you on, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go. a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So here is Mike Pyle ready to go for round one. He is one of the more prolific round one finishers in UFC welterweight history. So that certainly bears watching here tonight. You've heard the opponent talk a lot about round one and the emphasis. Wow! Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? He's got him hurt here. Nasty combinations here. Oh, head kick. Oh, man, another head kick lands. These are really starting to pile up now. Wow, what a head kick. Big punches here. And that one was heavy. Oh, very nice. Oh! Kick him in the face. Pyle's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. Have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Oh, that's it. It's over. Beautiful knockout. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Watch this again here. Boom. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official the decision. Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout the so just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. 
but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.
To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, folks. This fighter has been all the rage of late, but tonight what stands in front of him, a legitimate rivalry fight. He's been talking a lot of smack here. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to... Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. You ready to fight? Well, this is a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena, right here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Punch. Goes for a single. Nice takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, hit kick blocked though by Saunders. Goes upstairs with the kick. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Under three minutes remain in round one. Head kick! Oh! Oh! A front kick to the face! Man has his chin been tested early. Good control here. Full guard, nice reverse. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to his feet again, amazing. There's a kick. Saunders going for the takedown, but he looked to telegraph that shot, Joe. Nothing doing. And he grabs a single. Under two minutes to go now in our open. Look at this. It looks like this submission's locked. Nicely done. Big punch from the bottom. And he winds up on top. Gets out of the full mount. Very nice sweep. And he connects there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's in half guard here. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Big punch from the bottom. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. That oh, one sounds wow. means we have reached the end of round one. Oh. 
here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. The round. Nice! Way to go! Listen, you almost had him finished, but the round came at the end. Now let's start this next round off and fit. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. He front kicked him in the face! He's in trouble, he's in Whoa! trouble! High kick! ground and pound KO. Love me some ground and pound, Joe, as he gets his opponent out of there and finishes the fight. He was not stalling whatsoever. Big shots from top position. It's one thing when you're trying to score. It's another thing when you're actually trying to end the fight. He was trying to finish the fight and certainly succeeded. Outstanding TKO victory for him there. Let's take a look at it again. Watch this again here. Boom! And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Back inside the Octagon Ladies once again, the here's Bruce Buffett. Bruce is going to stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout back 10. All right, so the celebration is on in the corner, and he has certainly earned it after coming through and coming up large in this rivalry.